folks, how you doing? We're going to try and get ourselves a little pumped up before the big game coming up. No pun intended, of course. But what we're going to do is we're going to throw together some big old fat man burgers. Now, I've already put two of them together. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the others. We've got two hamburg patties here. We're just taking that out. We're going to put a little bit of dent in there. And we're going to put in a little bit of mixed Italian cheeses, well there's some there's some sharp cheddar, there's some mozzarella, some provolone and then we're going to take this other patty and we're going to put it right over it and we are going to have the cheese inside the burger. Oh jeez, unbelievable. We're going to grill those up and after we grill them up we'll bring it back in because that's not the whole burger folks, there's more to go on that baby when that's done. But we're going to have a little slaw with that. So what we've got here is we've got a, a head of cabbage and some stick carrots all mixed together. And we're going to add to that two tablespoons of sour cream. Three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. Uh, yeah, so everybody's getting nervous for the big game, folks, including, including moi. With all this controversy that's been going on, it's, it's almost been deflating. Oh, God, I gotta stop that stuff. All right, enough of that. And we're adding a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of ground mustard, two teaspoons celery salt, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and we're going to mix all that up, and we've got ourselves a nice little slaw to go with our beast of a burger that we're going to put together. See, it's as simple as that. We got us a quick slaw. No time at all. Took more time to chop it up than it did just about anything else. Okay. So we're going to grill these burgers, and then when we come back from grilling the burgers, we're going to show you the other toppings that are going to go on this and just make you drool. We'll be back. Folks, we're back. We're going to start putting together some of the other things that are going to go on this burger. We've got some Italian roast beef here and some salami. It's going right on the griddle. We're going to cook those up. And then when those are getting cooked up, we're going to cover them with some provolone cheese. We just threw this together. This is basically some thinly uh, diced onions and lettuce, and then I added a tablespoon of olive oil and two tablespoons of cider vinegar with a little bit of uh, garlic powder and a little bit of oregano. And that's going to be one of our toppings that's going on there as well. It's almost like a burger and an Italian sub coming together at the same time in your mouth. Okay, folks. We're going to flap that over. Give that a little heat. We're going to cover it with the provolone. Let it melt. We've got our burgers here. We've toasted the rolls. We're going to put some pickles down on that roll. Give it a little bit of sub feel with the pickles. But one of the most beautiful burgers. Don't forget, folks, these burgers are stuffed with cheese to boot. This is all melting together. That goes on there. Oh, and that goes on there. We'll put a little bit of the topping on. 
like you would on your Italian sub. Give it some flavor with that olive oil and vinegar. Oh, but wait! You can't forget the crushed reds. And there's our crushed reds to go on there, folks. We throw a little coleslaw on that dish, and you are in heaven. Slice that baby in half, and you'll see that cheese just come right out of that burger. Oh. The only thing that'll go better with that is a nice Jamie Collins cocktail to go along with your burger the night before the game. And you'll be good and full, so when you get up in the morning and you get Nancy, and it's time to have a drink, you're already ready to roll. Enjoy the game, folks. Hopefully the Patriots come out on top.